Imagine a canal so strategically placed that it could save days of travel, cut costs by billions, and redefine the flow of global trade. This is the vision behind Thailand's $28 billion mega canal project. But what if this new waterway doesn't just complement existing trade routes? It disrupts them entirely. Could the Suez and Panama canals, the lifelines of international shipping, face serious competition? Let's find out. But before we delve deeper into the topic, do give us a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. If you're done with that, then let's get started. Thailand plans to construct a new canal to bypass the Strait of Malacca, a crucial maritime route that connects the Indian and Pacific Oceans. This project is expected to have a significant impact on the region, potentially disrupting the existing maritime route and its strategic and geopolitical importance. To understand the challenges Thailand faces with this ambitious project, it's important to recognize the significance of the Strait of Malacca. As the shortest sea route between East Asia and the rest of the world, the strait facilitates the passage of vessels from major economies like China, Japan, and South Korea. This vital channel sees more than 90,000 ships each year, making it one of the busiest waterways globally. The ships that navigate this route transport just over 30% of all traded goods worldwide, valued at approximately $3 to $4 trillion annually. Moreover, 9 out of the 10 busiest ports are located in the Indo-Pacific region, further highlighting the strait's critical importance. However, the Strait of Malacca is not only vital for commercial reasons, but also for its strategic military importance. Despite being over 14,000 kilometers away, the United States maintains a semi-permanent military presence in the region, conducting regular exercises with local nations to prevent any hegemonic power from emerging. For China, the strait is equally crucial, with 70% of its maritime trade passing through it. As a result, China has built military installations and even manufactured islands in the area. Despite its critical role, the Strait of Malacca is a single point of failure in the global supply chain. With such heavy traffic, it is prone to congestion, increasing the risk of maritime collisions. The 2021 Suez Canal blockage, which halted global trade for a week, highlighted the potential disruptions that could occur in the Malacca Strait. To address the risks associated with the Strait of Malacca, Thailand has proposed a new trade route by building a canal across the Isthmus of Kra, a narrow land corridor in southern Thailand. This isthmus, at its most constricted point, is only 40 kilometers wide, presenting an ideal site for the canal. The concept of constructing such a canal dates back to the 17th century during the reign of Thai King Narai. Despite its early proposal, the canal never came to fruition due to a combination of limited engineering technology and political challenges. Notably, an agreement with the British Empire in 1897 impeded the project. The British, who had control over Singapore, aimed to safeguard its position as a key trading hub and thwarted Thailand's canal plans. This obstruction persisted until Singapore achieved independence in 1965, lifting the restrictions on Thailand's canal efforts. China has shown considerable interest in playing a pivotal role in the development of Thailand's ambitious canal project. In 2015, both countries took a significant step forward by signing a Memorandum of Understanding, signaling their commitment to advancing this monumental endeavor. The proposed canal is envisioned as a 128-kilometer-long waterway, strategically designed to link Krabi Province on the Andaman Sea with Songkhla Province on the Gulf of Thailand. With a planned width of 400 meters and a depth of 25 meters, the canal's design is notably distinct from the Panama Canal, as it would not require a lock system due to its topography. This massive infrastructure project is projected to come with a hefty price tag of $28 billion and is expected to take around 10 years to complete. The canal's completion could usher in a new era of efficiency in global shipping. By offering a shortcut that reduces travel time between the South China Sea and the Andaman Sea by approximately three days and cuts the distance by 1,200 kilometers, the canal would present a highly attractive option for maritime transport. For oil tankers, this route could translate into savings of $300,000 to $350,000 per voyage, making it a cost-effective alternative to existing routes. Moreover, the canal would elevate Thailand's status as a major player in international shipping and logistics. The southern provinces in particular stand to benefit economically from this development, with the potential for increased employment opportunities and substantial investment. 
The project could transform these regions into bustling hubs of economic activity, driving growth and development for years to come. However, the project also faces significant drawbacks. An estimated 60,000 people would be displaced by the canal's construction, affecting local communities and livelihoods. The environmental toll would be considerable, with potential destruction of vegetation and marine life. The canal would physically divide Thailand, potentially fueling secessionist movements in the Malay-majority southern provinces. Geopolitical tensions could also arise, as the canal might strain Thailand's relationships with neighboring Malaysia and Singapore, as well as major powers like the United States and India. These countries might view the canal as a strategic threat, giving China an alternative route for its imports and exports, bypassing the US-influenced Malacca Strait. Concerns about the canal project have led to dwindling support. In 2018, Thailand's Prime Minister announced that the canal was no longer a priority, and by 2020, the Thai government officially abandoned the project after feasibility studies labeled it too costly and risky. Despite shelving the canal, Thailand remained committed to improving access between the Andaman Sea and the Gulf of Thailand. This determination gave rise to the Land Bridge Mega Project, a new initiative aimed at boosting regional connectivity. The plan involves constructing two deep-sea ports, one in Ranong and another in Chumphon Province, connected by a 90-kilometer network of highways, railroads, and pipelines. This infrastructure is designed to facilitate the efficient movement of goods across the isthmus, offering an alternative to the canal. The Landbridge project, like the proposed canal, is estimated to cost $28 billion. It is expected to create 280,000 direct jobs and attract significant investment, potentially transforming the region into a major economic hub. The Thai government is actively seeking investors, with construction scheduled to begin in 2026 and completion targeted for 2039. The world watches to see if this ambitious project will reshape trade in the region. Despite the challenges it faces, Thailand's Land Bridge Mega Project presents a promising alternative to boost regional connectivity and economic growth. The world is closely monitoring the project's success, and whether it will transform trade dynamics in the region remains uncertain. So, what do you think about Thailand's $25 billion mega canal? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon for more. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.